G'day guys, um, I'm here again with uh, Brett and Cam. This time um, we're on the uh, Julemar State Forest. So um, recently came back from the Leonard track, which was a lot of fun. Um, so this was uh, one of Brett's calls to, to try this track out today. And uh, yeah, it should be good. Yeah, so we're doing the uh, waypoint set by Ronnie Dahl, Full Driving Australia. So thanks for that. Uh, we've got them set in the GPS and we're gonna do the track backwards which is apparently a bit harder because it means we have to go up these hill climbs whereas the other way around you just be going down them so we'll see how the challenge goes and stay tuned because there should be some good hill climb action coming up and uh we've got our drone pilot here cam yeah we're here to tag along get some drone footage and hope it don't crash <laughs> <laughs> but it should be a good day that should be good yeah all right so stay tuned um hopefully some good action is it we can come back and then I think the the track continues by that tree with that post so we go left here yeah We're now heading south, uh, leaving the bog hole area as indicated on the Four Wheeling Australia waypoints. We're heading towards the extreme uh, hill descents and hill climbs area. My drone here, guys. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome.
Tree right there. So we thought uh, we'd pull out the uh, the winch and, and and give that a bit of a helping hand up up the hill. So uh, it's uh, the track certainly more challenging than we anticipated, but uh, a lot of fun. Now, while we were using a winch, you could certainly get out of this situation by reversing, picking a different line, and going again. Uh, on this occasion, um, I've got a new winch, and I was keen to test it out. Um, but uh, certainly, if you if you don't have a winch, uh, I would definitely recommend doing the track with at least one other person so you have uh, you know, a way to get out of a situation like this. All right boys, we've just done the uh, Julema State Forest. Uh, initial thoughts? That was way more hectic than I expected. <laughs> the first half of the track was pretty, pretty tame and we're like, oh, this is all right, this is pretty cruisy. And then we got to the hills and the massive, like, yeah, just, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, we we made the decision to do the track in reverse as well, which, um, you know, we thought would be a bit more challenging and it, and it certainly was. So yeah. I think the first half of the track, um, you know, fools you into a sense of security that it's quite easy. And then it's, it's sort of the second half of the track. Um, it's nothing but yeah. sort of hill descents and hill climbs. Um, and obviously you would have seen, we had to get the winch out on my car, um, you know. I had a few times when my car was bottoming out because I don't have a lift kit. So there was just times where clearance was a bit of an issue, but. I managed to just get the right lines and get through it. Um, bash plates copped a bit of a <laughs> bashing, I was fair to say. So yeah. they did their job. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely. That no, was good fun. So. And our drone extraordinaire managed to uh, to get some uh, vision as well, which is really cool. So yeah, crashing thank, the thanks trees, to Cam. That was a good start. <laughs> definitely. Um, but um, no, good fun. So um, yeah, see yeah. you next time. Cheers. See ya.